Oh my God, that completely changes the look. Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna do today, which I've already done it, but I'm doing this uh, after the fact, we're gonna install a new grill that I got for my Ford F-150. So let's just uh, flat out get to it and have a little fun. All right, so first let's start taking these out. Be careful with these, make sure you don't snap them. All right, so there's three more. There we go, perfect. Now this should come 100% off. Flip on that. Am I missing one? No way. There we go. That is off. And next, you have these four 10 millimeter screws. Let's take those out. Remember, do not have your clutch setting on drill for this stuff. Put those aside. Now that sh this should be free. Disconnect the, the cable. I believe this is for the shutters. This is the motor for the shutters, so the engine could get hotter faster. Now I, I read about it, I, I, my model, yep, my model has it, so that's for the shutters. That's all one unit inside. All right, so next we gotta take this piece of trim off. Maybe nine and 30 seconds. Yep, nine and 30 seconds it is. Perfect. Keep those aside. Uh, go to your local auto parts store and get a trim uh, trim remover kit. You need these so you don't scratch up the paint. Carefully, without bending it too much, take the rest of the trim off. I said do it carefully. Alrighty, I got that off. Show you guys in a second what I did. All right, so I'll show you guys in the, the clips in a second, but I made this out of PVC. I put a point, I put a sort of like a point on there so I could push the, the clip down. So it didn't take much force after I made this. It took me a while to figure this out, but I got it. So I just got like a two and a half foot, three foot PVC pipe and cut that so I just could easily press down on it and pull the piece out. All right, so here's the piece. So what I did here, what I did here is I took this pushed it down on that and the, each uh, for each thing and it came off right away. Very good. Next you gotta take these off. One is for the lights and one is for the grill. I plan on changing my light bulb so I'm gonna take the one for the light out as well. Oh, I'll put that. This one needs drill. That one had a little bit of bite to it. Can I reach that one? I guess I can. It's magnetic, fantastic. Yeah, those two had a little bite in it, so you gotta do that to both sides. 
crap, that came out immediately. This is my favorite tool that I have, Hilti 12 volt screwdriver. There we go. Just took a little bit of force. And that is the grill. Let's take a look at what we got. Got those. Hardware, I bet. And the grill. Looks like it's gonna, looks like it's intact. What was that? I heard the truck and like, they got a grill. Yes, I did get the grill. Thank you. And there we go. Got the F O R D. And I think because of copyright laws, they couldn't have Ford there. That goes like that. And that goes like that. Very good. I like that. I like that. Just gotta screw those in place. It looks good. All right, I wanna, ch I wanna change out my light bulb since I have it this far. I might as well see if I could uh, take that off. There's one bolt, right, oh, two bolts. One or two bolts right here that might be holding it in. Yes, we gotta take those three bolts out. Are they 10 millimeter? Yes, they are. No missing parts. All right, let's see if that did the trick. It's looser, feels like it at least. There we go, it is loose. That was it, I think just one of them was. There we go. Now to change the light bulb, let's go down. Change the light bulb, it's better just to disconnect these. In my opinion, there's only three of them that I could see. And take this and, oop, yep, perfect. Uh, I believe the top one is the headlights. There we go. That would be correct. Disconnect that. So we got new head, uh, the new headlights. These are white lights. This is H11. And this is like, I might as well do this because I have it out already. Let's put that in. Put this back in. It's only three more screws to take this out and put the clips in and out. There we go, got that back on. Let's put this, let's install this back. All right, first we gotta do the connectors. Make sure they all go into the correct spot, which thankfully they are all shaped in a different way. Got one. Two. Okay, that is in. Slide this in properly. Make sure that this goes this uh, goes inside. There we go. There we go. Make sure the seam is lined up. 
Let's put these back in. I think, yep, it's all lined up. Perfect, oh, clutch. We'll put the clutch on seven. Actually, I feel like nine. All right, perfect. All right, I'm gonna do that to the other side, then continue on the grill. All right, so as you can see, there are a couple of, oops, sorry. As you can see, there are a couple of screws right here. There's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of nuts right here. That I counted four. You gotta take all four off. I did a research on these. These are actually, these are like shades so your car engine could operate at, a, at the proper temperature quicker. So this will block off the cold air from getting to the engine so it could actually warm the engine up faster. And then there's a motor right here that we disconnected that opens and closes these up as needed. So it's good. So let's take these four off. I did switch over to my impact, my 12 volt impact for this. Uh, the nut does have a setting washer. Is that vinyl? Yep, it, it's uh, it is, it's vinyl as well. Put those aside. Then underneath right here, we gotta take out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We gotta take out eight of those. All right, so we have eight plastic clips to take out. Just take them off carefully. Perfect. All right, so now we got all that out, set this aside. There we go, that's one. That's two, that's three. Just trying to get this one last screw that's right here. So five sixteenths, same as a timber lock. Uh, I, need, I think there's just one. Came off immediately. So, yep, there we go. Got it. And this is the grill. That is the old grill, done. And I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that they, this is a lot lighter too. I'm going to assume that they want you to screw on the F and the R before you actually put this back into your car. So let's do that. Here is the F. Let's first get that hardware out and see what's inside. Here is the lights. I gotta figure out where that go bleeds that goes into before I install this. Let's whip out my screwdriver again. I love how much of a matte finish this actually is. Seriously, hardcore matte finish. Put that on clutch five. Should be good. There are four screw. Uh, there are four screws for the F. Four screw. Four screws for the R. Just like this. Everything should go together. I'm. It better go together, or I'm be mad. There we go. It's all locked into place. So I'm. I'm guessing that this is using its own screws. All right, so this comes with its own screws. So I think these replace these nuts. So I don't think you need these anymore because the, the, there are no more uh, screws for those to come, come through. So I think these screws is what you need now. 
four screws, four four bolts, four washers. Let's put them. You'll see. You'll see exactly where they go, because there's two big holes to where they go along with the the threading. A little bit tighter than that. Uh, uh, 10, your clutch set at 10 will do the trick for these. Let's get the other three set up. There we go. That washer does not fit in that one. It does not. Yeah. What a shame. That washer is just a little bit too big for that. For this one though. One's gonna have to do without a washer. One is gonna have to do without a washer because it's just too, that's not big enough space for it. I didn't need to use the stuff that I took off of the other one. I did not. Got to put the bottom on still. Goes just like that. Grab these. These just get stuffed back in there. Like so. Alrighty, so. Got that there. Last one. And then the last thing we need to do is put that one screw back or what i see you do not put these back the screw that was in the middle and the four nuts with the washer on it all right so that is done and ready all right so let's put this back in and see on how well this actually goes let's put this in Oh my God, that completely changes the look. All right, you guys, one thing I am gonna say before I completely install this, I am not a fan of lights. I am not going to hook these up. I just want the headlights and fog lights and that's pretty much it. I'll change the bulb in both the lights, so that is just going to be a regular white light now. So sorry guys, I'm not a fan of accent lights like that. But now let's put this all back together. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is reconnect this back to where it belongs. Slide that back in place, reconnect that. Now my shutters should work normally. Wow, this thing, this thing looks seriously, seriously awesome. And I love it. All right, let's start putting these back in. There we go. That goes like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right, put this one in for the light. Put the other one in for the light. Then stuff this one back in. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? No, I did not. I did not. Perfect. Then we go back below. Then we go back below here, put these screws back in. There we go. Then put the one in for the light. 
Yep, that is the right screw. Fantastic. We got to do that on the other side. Carefully, make sure you don't scratch the body. There we go. Let's go with one side first. Now when it comes to this, this is the part I'm afraid of actually. I'm af I am afraid of this part. This is important to put this back on. It goes on like that. Because I'm on, that, that came off on mine. I'm, I am afraid of this. Make sure everything is coordinated. There we go. There we go. Perfect that seamless. That's on exactly the way it's supposed to be. All right, so we put one screw back in. Everything looks good. Put this to, we'll put this, the clutch to six. Perfect. To the next one. You know what, we'll do a seven. Excellent. All right, uh, let me let me do the other side and I'll show you guys the what it looks like. So as you guys can see, this is the final product when it comes to installing it. Like I said, I am sorry I did not show the lights. I do not wish to use them. I just like the headlights, it's my personal preference. I'm pretty sure there are other uh, YouTube videos that do that, but we successfully put everything back together. All the seams are good. Nothing is cracked. Nothing is cracked. So yeah, everything is the way it should be. And yes, that looks so much better. So much better. And as you can see right now, my the shades are open, so. So yeah, it took me about four and a half hours to do that, but it is done. The paint did not crack in any way. Everything fit back to the way it was. You just gotta pretty much be careful when you do it. And so it's totally worth it. That grill is so much better than the older one. And so I might be selling the older one, but we will see. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.